I just made some homemade soup and I wanted to show it to you guys. I am using a plastic spoon. It's leftovers I had from the holidays. But listen, this is so good. So it's like a taco moment. I love taco soup. I know you guys see me make it a lot. Um, we have garlic, we have onion, bell pepper. Um, I wanted to put rice, but instead I put potatoes, which I've never done before, but it tastes so good. We have corn, ground turkey, taco seasoning, pepper, salsa. Salsa adds a good like tomato-y moment. And instead of adding just straight up tomatoes, since it's already a taco soup, which taco and salsa go really good together obviously, just add salsa. See, now you have your tomato piece. Me and Feline equally aren't really into tomatoes, so the salsa is a really good addition and yeah it's so good look at that you guys i promise you this is definitely soup weather and i love making soups so yum but this is so cool they have weight watcher snacks there so we have choco coconut delight apple crumble bar a macadamia and cranberry chocolate nut bar and then they have like different fiber one bars which i've never heard of before which are um donut flavors strawberry cream flavor and chocolate flavor and donuts like what that is so cool we don't have that here and then majority of this is in the brand cadbury i don't know if it's like really popular there which is pretty neat like because when i tell you there's a lot there's a lot just wait for it she sent some caramel baubles. It's dairy milk chocolate with smooth flowing caramel center. That sounds so good. We have a Chomp Boost. Curly Whirly, which I am very interested in this one. Picnic, a twirl breakaway. Just a regular twirl, I'm assuming. A twirl caramelk. Twirl strawberry flavor. I guess twirl is super popular in australia because they have so many different flavors a flake which it feels sort of flaky i don't know if it like broke or something in shipping but i'm also very interested in this one a cherry ripe double dipped caramel this one sounds and is just like presented the best this one sounds the best to me if i had to choose and then a crunchy, I love me a crunchy moment, a Freddo, which is just milk chocolate, and then a Caramello Koala. So I'm gonna try one now, and I think I want it to be the Curly Whirly. Baby, you wanna try with me? A curly Whirly. A Curly Whirly. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, it says be treat wise, enjoy a balanced diet. I, I don't know how this is a balanced diet, but you know what? If Australia said it is, then I'm here for it. So this is what it looks like. It's this really thin chocolate. Wait, I'm kind of low-key obsessed. Like, look at how thin that is. Baby, you want to try it first? No, no, no. You try it first. Me? Okay. Mm -hmm. it smells like chocolate. It smells good. Oh, I died in one to have him. Mmm. It's literally just chocolate and caramel. It's so good, babe, try that. That slaps on a whole other level. So I guess I wanna try one more because the next one that I'm the most into, the like interested in because it just is weird. Crunchy, we're going for it. I love a crunchy moment, you guys know me. I love a crunch. Baby, I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that one. A six? No, 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 no. It's literally like these, this like crunchy bit in the middle. I don't know. 
Now I feel bad because I don't like it. Oh my God, no. But I loved this one, so. I'm gonna go enjoy that. So the last thing is at the bottom of the box, there was this fortune cookie. So I do wanna open it and read it. Keep moving forward. That's a good one. Guys, I just made breakfast. I made a breakfast quesadilla. So let's do like a taste test moment. Look how good that looks. Banging. So ingredients, egg, hash brown, cheese, salsa, pepper, veggie patty, tapatio, of course. So I'm just going to go in for it. <laughs> this looks so good. This is what happens when you don't order takeout and you get to experiment at home. No. This is so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Here's a close-up. This is on the heftier side compared to, like, what I usually have for breakfast. You guys, I promise. <laughs> it's so good. And I put some cheese on top. Oh, my God. This is bomb. We are actually going to pickle some cucumber and some onion in this white vinegar, salt, sugar situation <laughs> that Feline is making. Um, Feline's actually going to have raw sushi, which are, why do I always say sushi? Salmon. And I'm actually cooking one of these. No, she's not having this. She's actually having um, kinds that you're able to eat raw, not this. I'm having a salmon mignon. Is that what it's called, babe? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm having. She's currently in the oven because that's how I like making her. And then we're going to have some radish, some carrots, scallion. I want some broccoli, avocado. I'm going to make like a sriracha mayo try to the place where i get poke bowls um they put these wasabi peas in my poke bowl and it's delicious and we have some edamame so it's gonna be like a whole moment i'm excited so we also put some cucumber some garlic and then some sesame seeds oh my god it smells so freaking good gonna stir it this is the salmon that she will be using smoke atlantic salmon and i opened this and the smoke alarm went off so that's fun so everything is pretty much done i just have to take my salmon out of the oven um i put everything on a plate like this so it's like a little assembly line and i'm actually gonna plate it for you guys you guys can see um exactly how i'm doing it all right it's time to build my bowl we have the rice. So first things after the rice is my salmon, which I already shredded it up. Next is some steamed broccoli. This obviously isn't like a real poke bowl, so do not come for me. I'm just adding things that sound good and that I know I would enjoy in a bowl some radish, some carrots, some more carrots, some avocado, the pickled cucumber and onion, some edamame, some sriracha peas, which I'll put here and there. I meant to say, did I say wasabi peas? Mm -hmm. I meant to say wasabi peas. And then a dollop of sriracha mayo that I made. Hopefully it tastes good. Some scallion all around, which is like my favorite part. Some sesame seeds. And the tiniest bit of soy sauce, I'm just gonna go over it like that. There is my homemade poke bowl. Wow. And there is 
Fleens. Hers is more aesthetic. Mine is more thrown together. You guys, homemade pizza. It's about to go in the oven. So the dough is just made out of some flour, olive oil, salt, pepper, um, I believe some garlic powder, and water and yeast. Okay. I just divvied it up. I made two portions, so one portion for us now, and we can have some later if we want to. Um, I bought this pizza stone recently. It just gives it a crispier crust. An actual pizza stone. We're legit. We got a pizza stone. Wow. And then using some roasted garlic classico, some mozzarella cheese. Uh, we're going in with some crushed red peppers on top. There's jalapenos and sausage, right? Yep. Oh, you guys, look at that. So she just has to put it in the oven. She did this. I didn't even, I didn't even touch it. I probably messed so it up. So I just made homemade stuffed bell peppers, which I have never, ever done before. And I will film a recipe eventually. Because I feel like by based on how it looks and smells, I'm going to love it. And if I do love it, I want to keep a few recipes in rotation just so it's easier for me. Um, so I will film a recipe. Yes, I will. But look how delish. <gasps> oh my god, I'm okay, so excited. I'm about to do a taste test of the jalapeno hummus. Feline already tried it. And she said it's really good. See, she had some already. I don't really care for how it smells. I don't think that hummus in general smells good. So, And I just got the carrot sticks here. Alrighty, I see a little like greenery which messes with you because it makes you think that like oh my god This is hummus that has mold in it, but it's just like the jalapenos so Mmm Mm-hmm Right Mm-hmm See I did that this morning just two tablespoons of hummus with some carrots, and then two tablespoons of peanut butter with some apples. It was good. It was? It was really good. I'm double dipping in the container. <gasps> double dipping? It's just me and her. <laughs> Ooh, the perfect amount of spice. Mm hmm It hits you at the end. Wait, this is bomb. Something I've been loving to do is making like a little mini charcuterie board that isn't really a charcuterie board. I'm also going to be having the string cheese. I forgot to put that on there, but we have grapes, watermelon, pineapple, green olives, some shrimp with a little bit of cocktail sauce. I really like this because sometimes I'm craving salty and sometimes I'm craving sweet and sometimes I'm craving both. So this helps. I'm weird about shrimp. Like I really am. The texture... Not the greatest, but I like the taste, so I eat it in small quantities. So good. I will say that cocktail shrimp, like this, the texture is the best out of any texture shrimp that I've ever had. And I really like the string cheese because it's like a twirl kind, so... <laughs> Does it like this? Like all around instead of just like straight down. And I've been loving fruit because I told myself I was not going to have any more like processed sweet junk. Cookies, uh, candy, ice creams. Yes, here and there I can have that in moderation, but it's just the guilt I feel afterwards is pretty intense, so. I have zero fruit guilt though. So good. Alrighty, so I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make me a little snack plate and I figured I would do it for you guys to show you how I'm doing it this time. So first things first, I'm gonna have some cottage cheese. I am gonna have a couple uh, cocktail shrimp. I just dip it in the cocktail sauce and just put it on the plate. So I think I'm gonna have four. And there's the fourth one. I'm gonna have some green olives. I just dropped one on the floor, so let me get that. A couple more. 
I'm going to have some nuts. A little bit more. I have been obsessed with pineapple lately. So I'm going to have some pineapple. Taste buds do change because I used to hate watermelon. But now I love it. So I'm also going to have some watermelon. One more for good measure. I'm going to have two slices of apple. And I'm going to have two carrot sticks. Actually, three. <laughs> and then last but not least, I'm just going to have a few wasabi peas. So that is my little meal here. I could have used a smaller plate to be honest, but this is so satisfying to me because you have your sweet and your salty and your crunchy and your soft, but you also have your protein and your fats and your fibers and everything that you need. So, okay, so this might be silly, so don't come for me, but it's what's been working for me. So I'm trying to drink 64 ounces of water a day while also trying to slowly drink less diet soda. I used to drink like no water and about four diet sodas a day sometimes five. Now my goal is just to have like one or two while drinking more water. So this might be dumb to some, but it's totally fine. But it's something that's been working for me. If I take a sip of drink, a soda, a sip of drink, that means I have to take a sip of water. And it's been helping me drink more water. And it's also really good um, to practice my sips because when I get weight loss surgery, I'm not gonna be able to like take normal drinks. I'm not gonna be able to like gulp my drinks. I can only sip. So usually when I have like a water goal, I can just chug this in one, call it a day, be like, all right, I got my 16 ounces done for. I'll move on to my next 16 ounces in a couple hours. But I'm having to just like all day constantly sip, sip. That's like one of the like, mini goals they said you know start working on so i've been doing that and it's just it takes me so much longer to actually um finish okay, a water. So tonight for dinner we are having some baked chicken wings which is just has seasoning on it and we just put it on aluminum foil so the flats are my favorite oh my god yeah looks so good I guess I'll have one of these moments. And then we're also having zucchini, squash, and onion with some fresh garlic. Oh my God, it smells so good and it looks so good. I am starving, truly. So I cut some fresh garlic because that tastes better than the jarred stuff for sure. Cut some onion. We have some water boiling with a little bit of Himalayan, Himalayan? <laughs> Himalayan salt and oil, ground turkey, which I season with garlic salt and pepper. It's really all it needs because I'm about to season it pretty good with some sauces. So I'm using some whole grain thin spaghetti. I like to make my spaghetti pieces small, so I um, just break them into thirds, just easier to eat. So the meat's about halfway cooked, so I add the garlic and the onion, and I stir it, and it's doing its thing. And at this point, oh my gosh, it is smelling so freaking good. So I'm kind of just like breaking it up so there's not like huge pieces of meat. So I've been loving broccoli lately, so in almost everything that I make, I'm adding broccoli. It's just easy to hide some green. Plus, I don't need to hide it. I love broccoli thoroughly, even when it's by itself. So I cut these pieces up, and then I ended up actually cutting probably double that amount um, because there was lots of leftovers, and I wanted enough green, enough greenery <laughs> throughout the meal. And then I just stirred it up a bit, letting it all cook together. So the sauce I'm using is Rayo's vodka sauce. I am going to add um, a spoonful of basil pesto as well. And for some spice, I'm adding sriracha and I'm going to add about a tablespoon or two of cream cheese as well. I thought I was recording when I poured the Rayo's in the pan and I wasn't. Whoopsies. So I added that, the pesto, 
and I'm stirring, I'm stirring. So Feline actually taught me this. Add a little bit of the water from the pasta, pasta water. And she taught me this like a year ago. And I was like, okay, weirdo. But turns out actually a lot of like famous chefs do the same thing. So, and here is some cream cheese. This is just to add, you know, a little bit of a cream effect, if you will. This came out so good, you guys. Like, Feline loved it. I loved it. This was easily a 10 out of 10. Um, I know you guys used to make fun of my cooking, but I'm not train wreck like that no more. So I added some parsley on top, and that is the completed product. Like, I don't cook weird like I used to. I used to make some weird soups, not gonna lie, and they were delish, but... I'm in my 30s now, like that was like six, seven years ago. And now I'm making bomb whole grain pasta. So definitely make this. So tonight for dinner, I made turkey kielbasa, onion, and broccoli. So that is what we are having. For seasonings, I literally just added pepper and uh, a little bit of garlic salt and red pepper flakes, which adds a spice without adding flavor. 160 calories. This is a premier protein. It is the chocolate peanut butter, which is the best one that they have. And this is 40 calories. It's just a mandarin. So I have it logged on my lose it. That is what I will be using. So this is exactly the amount of calories I needed. 160 and 40 is 200. So now I know that this is something I can continue having. So protein wise, which what I said is very important. Um, obviously Mandarin doesn't have any protein. This has 30. So this is 30 grams of protein for this. So I am gonna go watch YouTube. Maybe actually I might watch 600 pound life because there's a new episode I'm pretty sure. So, and I forgot to mention I am drinking my goal is to drink 64 ounces of water. So I will be having four water bottles. I haven't even taken a sip yet. Whoopsies. So I will keep you guys updated through the day. That was a chug. Very wise, it's 408 calories. I was so close. It's fine. It's eight calories. And only 37 protein. Ma'am. Okay, so... Damn, this looks like a lot of food. So what this is, is we have broccoli. We have a serving of guac, which is just the whole foods guac. We have quinoa, onion, and ground turkey, and pico de gallo that I cooked. Let me get it closer up for you guys. That I cooked in with, you know, everything. So that's what she looks like. So let's do a little taste test. No, I already tried it. <laughs> It's so good. Mm. Oh my god. The guac with this. It adds like a creamy moment. Instead of like adding cheese or whipping cream if you will. Mm. And I promise the guac is not out of place. I put some taco seasoning and garlic i forgot to uh, mention that so it has like a taco-esque kind of i don't want to use a lot because i didn't want to like do a lot with like the sodium but mm. i usually cut off the stems of the broccoli because texture so in i think one of my recent videos i was cutting broccoli i was cutting the stems off and people in the comments are like why is she doing that it's just a texture thing but a lot of people were like, that part's super healthy. So I'm just going to deal with the texture. Tastes good. I just, I don't know. The texture is just not it for me. So update on the water. I still have this one to go. This one to go. This one to go. And this much of this one. So it is time for the next meal. I'm making a toast guacamole egg situation. So this piece of bread is 80 calories. So before I eat or cook or anything, I make sure to do lose it and put all the calories and stuff in. So one piece of this bread is four protein. So I'm making a fried egg. I'm just gonna use some of this extra virgin olive oil. 
get an egg. So for the egg, I'm just adding some pepper and some garlic salt. So the egg is 70 calories and six protein. So I personally like my yolk cooked all the way. All right, let's see if I can flip her. Ooh. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna take the toast and I'm gonna put guacamole. I personally think this tastes better than just like regular avocado on toast. Guacamole has a great flavor, especially the guac from Whole Foods is so good. So the guacamole is 34 calories and one protein. Here is my perfectly cooked egg, what I consider perfect. So I'm also gonna add some Tabasco and a little bit of scallion on top. And I am also going to have a few carrots. So the carrots are 20 calories and like 0.4 of a protein, but this is the completed product here. It came out to 209 calories. So, so what I like about Lose It is like, I had my meals, you know, like my goals were 400 calories, but since I used the little bit of extra calorie here, the nine calorie and then the eight calories here, it like edits it. So now it's 392, 392 for my next two meals. So I love that. So I figured I would take a bite with you guys. This looks and smells delicious. Okay. Mmm. So good. Oh yeah, I knew this was gonna be good. <laughs> that is cooked perfectly. Yeah, this is good. Like if you don't have an avocado on hand or if you're afraid of avocados like I am and you just like prefer more flavor, guacamole, trust me, instead of using just like straight up avocado. And if you're wondering why I'm afraid of opening an avocado, I actually vlogged this moment. I had to go get stitches in my hand, which here is a, the scar right there. I had to get stitches because it was a whole moment. Uh, trigger warning, I was gushing blood and it was really bad. Like I saw tendons, it was so bad. It's because I had never opened an avocado before. This was like years ago like six, seven years ago. I had never opened an avocado before and I went to take out the seed with a knife and the knife slipped on the seed and went directly into my hand. It was horrendous. Um, I know how to open an avocado now, but it doesn't take away the fear, so. So for my next meal, I'm just having leftovers because as I showed you earlier, I cut it into threes. Feline had a third, I had a third earlier, and now I'm having the rest. And instead of having broccoli, I'm making cauliflower. Okay, so I put it all in a pan to heat it up instead of putting the leftovers in a microwave. And then of course, a serving of guac. This right here is 408 calories. I'm gonna add a little bit more Tabasco because I am in the mood for some spicy. And then cottage cheese with pepper. I love pepper on cottage cheese. This is a serving and that's 90 calories. So it's 166 calories. Cottage cheese. This is actually low fat organic. It doesn't taste as good as full fat. I'm not gonna lie. It's okay. And then olives. I'm gonna put an olive with my cottage cheese. Oh my God. These are like two hated foods. So y'all watching me right now are probably like, Ooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi baby girl. Wait, that actually slapped. <laughs> Yum. Mmm. That helped. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this type of video. My legs are hurting. <laughs> I used my QB today for the first time in a hot minute. 
ever since I hurt my ankle, but she healed folks, she healed. And my legs are like, what just happened? What did you do? It's so good. It's crazy how much the olives helped. Of having said broccoli. So obviously I cut her and I like to cut off the stems because texture reasons. Sometimes I can handle it and sometimes I can't. And today I kind of just wanted to enjoy what I was eating. So instead of using oil, I simply just use water because broccoli is easily cooked in water and who needs extra calories, am I right? So I like some soy sauce and some sriracha. And then I just let it boil and cook and do its thing. I stir it around, obviously. And honestly, this is so freaking good. It reminds me kind of like a Chinese food broccoli style situation. So I am missing two ingredients that I always have, but I ran out. I usually use sesame seeds and scallions in this dish. So if you make this, Remember those two. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vloggity vlog. So right now I'm just having breakfast. I haven't got ready for the day fully. I still have to do my makeup and such. So don't mind that. But I'm having some spam and some eggs. So that's what I'm having. So I noticed that my vlogs have been kind of like on the shorter side. I know some people enjoy them longer. Some people enjoy them shorter. So we're kind of just gonna go with the flow i don't want to like force myself to make the videos longer because then i'm just like filming things i normally wouldn't but yeah oh i just brushed my teeth i have toothpaste mouth that's okay though mm. so good <laughs> i think i need hot sauce i'm gonna add some tabasco and then i'm gonna scarf this down because i'm pretty hungry this morning Thank you. 